Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am finally sharing with you an updated house tour. I'm an arrow, can you stop me? I can go wherever I want be. I'm the buyer. This house was built in 1975. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square foot home. And we actually purchased it in 2019 after moving here from Georgia. And since moving here, we have done a lot of projects. And throughout the video, I will be sharing some before and afters, um, not just of the house when we first bought it, but just kind of the process of decorating and trying to find my personal style which I feel like I finally landed on. Um, so I'm really excited to share this tour. I feel like the house just has finally come together. Now, I did wanna go ahead and mention, this is a realistic home tour. It's not perfect. There's gonna be like things out of place. I just, what I basically did was ran around and I just did like a quick tidy up. But just keep in mind, this, we live here. <laughs> this is a lived in house tour. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty, welcome to my house. So, after walking in the front door, right here on the right, we have the living space. Hold on, sorry, let me lock that back. Um, straight ahead's the kitchen, and then to the left, we have the dining room. We're gonna go this way, and I'll show you guys from this angle. Actually, as a matter of fact, the angle I'm about to show you is my absolute favorite. If I could just, 
if we could make our front door over here, <laughs> it'd be so nice. Like I love the way that this looks. It looks so cozy and warm. So much has changed. I have so much to update you guys on. If you happen to miss any of my previous tours, um, if they're still public, I will list them below. But yeah, a lot has changed. I've changed my style. I went from a very farmhouse, very white, bright um, style of home to a very warm, cozy, a little bit more colorful, traditional style in my opinion. So I love how it's turned out. Now, we'll start with the biggest changes that I personally feel like were made in this house. Number one is the layout. So flashback when we first purchased the house, when we did a tour. So originally when I walked through the house tour, I shared that all this was supposed to be the living room, but I, I remember saying that I was going to set this up as a living room, which I did for a while. We had our couch here. Um, as a matter of fact, we had the broken couch. Do y'all remember that? A lot of you who've been following for a while, the back legs of our sofa broke and our whole couch kind of like leaned back. And I had that couch for like months before we ended up getting a new one. Um, and then we ended up getting the purple couch. <laughs> Do you remember the purple? Oh gosh, that was awful. The couch came in and it was supposed to be gray, but it like looked purple in here. Oh my gosh, I hated it. We ended up getting it returned, thankfully, and got a new one, but we had it all set up here. This was like the living room. We still had it set up as an Eden kitchen. So we had a huge farmhouse table over here. The chandelier was there. All this wasn't here yet. Um, we had a hutch is actually what I had over there. And we kept it that way for a long time. And all of this space was just open until eventually we built the kitchen island, which made a huge difference. And then we took the dining room and put it over here for a while. But then eventually, just like one day, I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch it all up because it made more sense to have the dining room next to the kitchen versus having the living room right there. So we ended up moving it around and it has stuck since. The living room has stayed here. We like it over here the best. It, it just makes more sense. Um, so yeah, good times. A lot has changed. When I look at these like before photos, it's almost like I forgot, you know? It's like you forget where visually like where you started. Like obviously I remember going through the process of decorating and trying to make our house, you know, like a home. I just, it's crazy when I look back, it just makes me a little emotional seeing these before clips. Like we've come so far. All right, so we're gonna start in the dining room. Now I do have the front door open, the kids are home. So, and I forgot to film the dining room and share with you guys the updates in here. So I'm kind of doing this a little backwards. First off, I do want to address, that is two by fours down there. Um, I stacked, I stacked two by fours under here to kind of lift the cabinet up because I do plan on putting it on legs. I just haven't found any that are strong enough for that cabinet just yet, so we'll see. But some of the like few changes that have happened in here, um, first off, I've changed the dining room table a thousand times. <laughs> I've also changed out the chandelier. We added the green gray curtains. Those are from Ikea. I changed the wall treatment here. I did have a half wall, but I felt like it just was awkward. It was really hard to decorate on top of it. So I took that down, replaced it with this picture molding, and I love how this has turned out. I do have a full video on how I did this trim work if you want to check that out. The chandelier I also switched out because I felt like this one was a lot more timeless than the other one I had previously. I absolutely love the other one still if you have more of a farmhouse look. I still definitely recommend that one. They're both from Amazon. I should be able to link both of them, the one I had previously and this one. Um, the table was, you know, thrifted. So the, everything was pretty much thrifted in this in my whole house. <laughs> I mean, there's a few new things. I like to mix old and new, if you can't tell. I think it really just makes the house look unique. So I love that. The vase is actually one of my favorite thrift store finds. It was a white vase and it was filled with like artificial flowers. I ripped all those out, spray painted the vase dark brown, and then added this Amazon greenery. And I think it looks stunning here on the table. It looks like real stems. It's really cool. So that is the dining room. See the light shining on the stage This is what I imagine every day 
room the biggest change that has happened in here is the built-in um, so previously we had a brick fireplace I did like a faux brick and we loved it for a long time but I also had the brick on this wall here to help disguise this door and the issue with that is it just looked very farmhouse and cottage looking and it really was holding me back from this more of this style that was a little bit more timeless so I decided to stucco over top of the brick and this is how the fireplace turned out I love the stucco look I it looks almost like it was lime washed but it wasn't and that is a marker that I could not get off I'm gonna have to like stucco over top of it but I really love the way that that turned out and after we stuccoed the fireplace I went ahead and built the built-ins which was one of my first big projects I've done on my own I am so proud of them. I think they look amazing and professionally done, and I had zero experience with building built-ins, but I, I think they turned out great. Um, I decided to paint them black because I really wanted some moody color in here, but I left the back light, and the reason I did that was so that way you could see the decor on the shelves and it didn't just look like a dark black hole. Um, I love dark built-ins, but I know that my space is already small, so I wanted to try to keep some light in here that I could. So I kept the fireplace light, the backing light as well. Um, and then currently we don't have a rug in here because I stole the rug from in here and put it in here. <laughs> but I do have a rug out in my um, shed that I need to have washed. It's a washable rug. So once I get that cleaned, I'll put that out here, back in here. Um, this coffee table actually lifts up and creates another dining space, which is perfect, especially if we ever have company and we don't have quite enough room around the small table. We have this option, and then I'm actually on the hunt for some bar stools, so then we'll also be able to sit at the bar. Um, so that is also an option. And I got that for 10 bucks at a thrift store. Thrifting is the way to go. And this was also $10, this chair. The only thing wrong with it, it has like this one little tear but it's nothing that a little blanket can't hide. No one probably even noticed until I pointed it out, but I love that chair. It's so comfortable. So that is the living room. Oh, and everything on the shelves here, all of that is thrifted, everything. Um, I honestly feel like most of my home decor is thrifted. I get a lot of comments about this lamp. I wanted to go ahead and share. I did get this from Walmart. It's like 50 bucks and it's really pretty and it has like shelves. So if you ever have a drink or anything like that, you can set that there. I just wanna take control now I'm waiting for a different time My body knows that I am faking I'm standing on the edge of breaking Maybe I'm all too fast Cause people just tend to pass I'm giving you And then moving into the kitchen, like I mentioned earlier, we did have the setup as an eating kitchen at one point. We had that pony wall here, ripped all that out, um, opened it up, added the kitchen island. Now, this kitchen island top has been through so much. We're going to have to redo this again. Um, this time, I'm not sure if I should just go ahead and just buy a countertop slab, like an actual stone countertop, something that's not going to stain or just attempt another DIY. <laughs> but as you can see, the epoxy has stained to heck and back. Um, I don't know, I didn't know this was gonna happen. No one really talked about that on the internet whenever I did research, but unfortunately it stained. So that's a bummer. I love the green right here. I can't remember this color. I can't remember the color name. So I'll have to look back on my videos, but I'll link that below. Oh, and the colors in here are called Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. Um, the built-ins we did to add lots of storage, which we desperately needed. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is where we keep our food. We have like a little 
um, snack stuff here, oatmeals, all that good stuff. Down here is where we keep a lot of the dinner foods. And then cereals go up top and other snacks that are just random. We don't have anything at the very, very top because it is hard for me to reach. But, um, oh, this can rack, by the way, is awesome. It holds so many cans. I don't know why I have so many right there because I can add some, but love that. And I loved it so much, I ordered a second one because it was just like the perfect size for in this cabinet. And so I use it to hold extra stuff like breads and potatoes and that's all my baking stuff. Up top here is where we keep all of our arts and crafts stuff. It's not the most organized, but you get the point. And then down here at the bottom is where we keep dog food. We also have this space here. It's kind of like a little catch-all. Um, so I got the shoe rack off of Amazon really cheap and it just functions great. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it functions and that's really all that matters. So that is that. Um, we did add these pendant lights. These are from Amazon. They're really pretty on too, but on camera, it makes the countertop look really yellow. It's really not that bad in person. So that's why I have them off. But I love that. Oh, and we did put the dog kennel in here instead. For the longest time, we had the dog kennel over here in the dining room. But whenever you first walk in the front door, I feel like it's just like such an eyesore. And now you can't see it from the front door, which is really nice. Uh, and that way it's nice if it's like raining outside and the dogs come in wet, they can like stop right there and dry off their feet or whatever. So that's been nice. And really the kennel is just for Honey. Honey loves her house. She lays in there all the time. But that's the kitchen. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down, down. Cause I ain't got nobody, I always feel so lonely when the day is through. I'm in the spotlight, not on to midnight I want somebody to hold my hand Cause I got my head in the clouds But I'm getting really scared of heights I used to spend time with all my friends But who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I um, and then we, I put this mirror here just because I wanted to eventually do like a little shelf system here and have like some um, cutting boards and like pretty plates or whatever styled there. But I actually like the mirror. I think it looks cool. It like kind of reflects and just makes the kitchen space look even bigger. And then like from this angle, you can see the dining room, which is pretty cool. So I like it. That's just how it's going to stay for now. So we'll go this way and we will enter the main front bathroom I guess the guest bathroom um so this one I recently painted this dark green color this is called woodland woodland lichen I think is how you say it um so I painted the whole bathroom green really really like that um very dark and moody but it's still bright I think because this whole shower is all like white so it looks really nice I love the shower but I have considered taking the shower, the glass shower door down and just doing like a big curtain with two panels, I think would be really cool. But then my biggest fear is that my kids are gonna spray water all over the bathroom. So the glass shower door does function. It's just not, in my opinion, the prettiest thing and it gets really stained up real quick. But then this way, we have my daughter's bedroom. So her and I just painted her built-ins pink. She wanted it to all be pink, including all of this. So we did that together. Um, she was actually homesick with me, so. We worked on that little project and um, she's got a new bedspread from Amazon. And then that's her closet. We're not gonna go in there. That's all her little stuff. But yeah, we added some flowers, little peel and stick flowers around her mirror. And she actually has the biggest room in the house, but it's just the way the house was built. Um, I'll, I'll explain my room in just a minute. But coming down the hallway, we have this little setup here. I got this little table for five bucks from a thrift store. Thrifted, lay, or thrifted vase, greenery from Amazon, Hobby Lobby picture, and then a picture light from Amazon. I love that. And then this is my son's bedroom. So his room, I did this little DIY Nerf gun wall, which is really cool. I love that. He loves it. It looks so cool at night too. Let me see if I can. 
it lights up the whole room and then you can change the colors to whatever you want. It has like a little button in a remote. So that's his bedroom. Now this chair right here is not staying in here. Um, my husband's friend moved and then he gave him this chair in case we wanted it. He gave it to my husband for like gaming, but we don't really have a spot for it. So I don't know. <laughs> it ended up in here, um, but it's not going to stay. It's just kind of like in the way. So that's his bedroom. And then he's got his closet here that I did like a built in. So he's got like storage, but he doesn't really use the closet. That's more for like, it's more storage than anything. He's got a couple like nice shirts, but all of his clothes usually go in his dresser anyway. So and that works out. And then going back this way, I do have a new couch coming in March. Fingers crossed it works and it looks really good. I'm really nervous about it. <laughs> um, but then here's my bedroom. So my bedroom is very beige and honestly, it looks very prison like to me. I need some color in here. I know. Um, but we'd like to have the comforter and no pillows. It's been so nice not having to like constantly take off the throw pillows. I need a headboard. I think if I had a headboard and like a wood tone, it would look amazing. And I just bought one, ended up returning it because it had like formaldehyde in it and I didn't notice it until after obviously we brought it in and it started to stink up the whole room and I was like oh my gosh I can't stand that smell for the research it had formaldehyde also the lampshades don't match because I stole the lampshade off of that one and put it in here <laughs> so yeah I need to get matching lampshades this is a work in progress but we got husband's dresser that's my closet with all my clothes in it and then we also have a bathroom here um, and then our house doesn't have like any storage so we've had to install all the storage and I put in these built-in cabinets. I also have a whole video on that if you want to check it out. Um, and then my room is like a catch-all. I have my little desk space, which I'm going to be getting a different desk that has drawers in it. So I can store away all my paperwork. But right now, it's just, it is what it is. And then all my workout stuff is stacked everywhere because I have nowhere else to put it. And I use it every night, so it needs to be you know, handy to where I can grab it and work out. Cause if it's not available to me, I'm probably not going to do it. <laughs> so it works that it's right there. Um, and then our TV is mounted on the wall cause we really have nowhere else to put the TV. The TV is too big to put here. So we mounted it and then my husband, obviously he, you know, plays games and stuff. So he added this little shelf right here to put his little gaming system on. What I would love to do is create like a small cabinet. I can't find anything thin enough. But I think it'd be really awesome to have like a nice pretty wood cabinet with maybe even like glass doors or something. Um, like hidden storage too. So that way he can hide his Xbox away. But that way it's not all visible. And um, eventually I would love to close in our carport and create a full workout space out there that's not out in the elements. I mean it's too hot sometimes and the mosquitoes come out. And if we were to do that, basically... The way we would do it, because our carport is right outside this wall here. So we would just blow this wall out. And it would go straight into the carport, which is through those windows. Both of those windows would be closed. And um, then we would have an, you know, access to a whole other space, which would be absolutely amazing. But I don't know if we're going to do that. We might just keep it as is. <laughs> but this is, that's my house. Um, I'll show you guys out back. It's a mess right now. Haven't really done any spring cleaning and the look at this she's on she's on the couch busted this is why I can't this is why I can't keep nothing nice but yeah that's her backyard very very nice and then our laundry room is actually in this shed right here so that's where our laundry room is but that is the house y'all that's gonna be it for this house tour i hope you enjoyed and i hope this video brought you lots of ideas and motivation to tackle your space um i really appreciate you guys watching let me know what transformation was your favorite kitchen living room dining room bedrooms i didn't really do a whole lot of before and afters for the bedrooms just because they've changed a lot but they still kind of look the same so i just stuck to showing like the before and afters of the main living space either way i'd love to hear your thoughts Thank you again for being here, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.